Hello, everybody. Welcome to Little John Sharns. I'm Alicia. Like I usually say, if this is your very first time here, what we like to do is talk about all three, all things, all things crochet and sip a little bit of wine. But today I am not sipping wine. I have some. Oh, my goodness. I should have cleaned my cup beforehand. Mm, some hot cocoa. I'm going to have to get my son to get me something to clean off my cup. It looks horrible. Isaac, can you give me a paper towel? I appreciate it. Yeah, I don't want to be, uh, I guess it bubbled over in a microwave. So I don't want you guys looking at that. So today we're going to be looking at 10 Valentine's Day crochet patterns that you can make real easy. Thank you, buddy. Look, I got my great assistant on the side helping me out. So maybe I won't look so tightened up. This is not coming off. I might have to put my cup off to the side and not drink it because it looks pretty gross. Okay, so today I am in Pennsylvania. Well, I'm always in Pennsylvania, and it's two o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and it's slightly warmer here today. It's about 46 degrees, which feels kind of hot because it's been like 20 something. So I can appreciate this slight warmness, turn down the heater, saving some gas. So I appreciate that. So I'm going to hop into the comments and see what's going on there. So, how's everybody doing? All right, we got our faves, we got Marty. And Leanne, one of my faves. Oh, I'm sorry, I won't be able to pronounce your name. Hi. Okay, I'm going to try Prajakta. Prajakta from India. Thank you so much for joining me. What time is it in India right now? We got my another fave, Knit and Crochet Tiger. And who else? Of course, we got Jojo. She's one of my original faves. Thanks for joining us here today. All right. So before we start anything, I just wanted to give you an update with what's going on. Um, do you guys remember one of my favorite tiny crocheters? She is 10 years old, and I usually like to do what's her, uh, it's called Lydia's Latest. This young lady has been crocheting for the past two and a half months now, and she's absolutely amazing. Let me show you some of the, no, that's not the button. Let me show you some of the things that she has been crocheting. All right, right here, this little girl, she made this hat. She's teaching other people how to crochet. She has her father wearing some of her fashion creations. Look at this. Okay, I know she's been crocheting for only two and a half months, but the items I'm showing you, she's probably made in the past couple weeks. She's made dozens and dozens of items. Oh my goodness, is that a sweater with a collar? Look at her. I think she is the new crochet prodigy. She is such a talented little thing. Love her to pieces. So I'm gonna have to post some more of her stuff on my Facebook page. I would really, I haven't asked her mom yet. I would really love to get her on a channel, at least her mother and, you know, Lydia too. So it'd be easier to talk to. Do you think I should do that? I'm not sure. All right, another update. On the 18th of February, we're going to have the amazing, I've been saying her business name wrong forever, Christy. It is re, hold on, eclectic, re eclectic goods. I've been saying her name so wrong. She is like a crochet historian. She knows everything about crochet, but she'll never claim that she does. She's one of those people that always say there's so much more to learn. Well, we're going to have her on the channel next month, and we're going to learn all these things about the history of crochet, how crochet patterns have changed over time, and why it's sometimes so difficult to understand how to read some of these things. So look out for that. And just so you know, she is one of my faves, and she made it on the channel. If any of you guys are crocheters or pattern designers, please email your work so I can share it with others. But if you're just starting crochet, make sure you already have a business page or an Etsy that you already started up your work. And I will be happy to share your work. All right. So we're going to hop directly into these patterns. And if you would like to see any of these patterns, they're all going to be linked down in the description box below. They're completely free, so you don't have to worry about paying for anything. And a lot of these, okay, I don't care. I'm going to let you look at my dirty cup because cocoa is good. I love playing with balls. I got this as a Christmas gift. I do like playing with balls, yarn balls, yarn balls. Get your mind out the gutter. All right. I lost my train of thought. Oh, all these patterns are down in the description box below. All right. I would like to ask you a question before we hop into this roundup. 
So the first question for the audience right now, what are your plans for Valentine's? Are you making crocheting anything for Valentine's? Or I guess maybe you'll see something on this list. Or do you have a hot date, you and your boyfriend or somebody you're dating that you're going out with? Tell me, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? All right, so let's hop into this roundup. Oh, I didn't have the patterns all scrolled out and ready for you. Here we go. The first pattern is called the Valentine's Day Mug Cozy. Our first Valentine's Day crochet pattern is an adorable and easy rug mug cozy. The button enclosure makes sure it works both on mugs and to-go cups. Stitching on this heart instead of crocheting one is an easy time saver. The designer of this pattern is Yarn Chai. See if they have any more pictures for this. Look how cute that is. See, I'm all about, mm, I do love graphic yarn, but I think cutting out a piece of felt and sewing it on is so much easier. I love myself some quick crochet. Any other pictures? There we go. Let's hop over to the next pattern. Now this is super cute. Our number two pattern, the Valentine's Day gift bag. Crochet bags are an adorable and thoughtful way to package gifts on Valentine's Day. Fill this bag with candies, love notes, or whatever you want. The pattern is quick and easy enough for you to make a bunch of these. The best part is that this gift bag can be used again and again. The designer of this pattern is Little Duali. I like that name. Little Duali. Say that five times fast. That is cute. All right, let me close these out. Let's back to you guys. So what is your plans for Valentine's Day? I'll go first. My plans for Valentine's Day is probably hanging out. I have absolutely no plans. I'm a single woman. I'll probably watch a little TV. I was inspired by somebody to watch The Notebook. I was going to watch it recently, but I think I might save that for Valentine's Day. I might have myself a glass of wine and watch The Notebook. And maybe crochet something. I've been planning on crocheting flowers forever, but just haven't got around to doing it. So that's my Valentine's Day. So what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Let me scroll. Did I remember to tell you guys to put the question mark in front of your answers? Hmm. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. <laughs> Leanne, let's see if Le Leanne is a party animal and has something special going on. Nope. Just me, myself, and my crochet and knit projects. Me too, me too. I'll be wearing a really cute top I bought today with pink butterflies because why not? No, I, I'm not going to cheers with you, my dirty cup. I do have a little bit of wine, but cheers to you. Know what? We should spend some time together. Maybe, what did his Valentine's uh, happen this year? Maybe we should do a live stream for all the single men and women. We should do a Valentine's Day live stream, have some wine and talk together. What do you think? Oh, you're making a big scarf for him. Aren't you the sweetest? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, Laura, how romantic. I have two exams on Valentine's Day this year. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, we have a birthday's coming up. Happy birthday, Elizabeth. February 18th is my birthday. Happy 29th plus birthday. Unless you're younger than 29, then you can be younger. I call everybody 29 plus. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, re-eclectic goods. I said your name right for the first time in years re-eclectic goods i got to talk to christy and she told me her name because eclectic is because she's an eclectic person and she reclaims items and make them new and beautiful again guys it's going to be so exciting when we have her on her channel she is like wikipedia of crochet and she has absolutely no clue how smart and talented she is those are my favorite people she's just super modest hmm Let's see, Marilyn. I'm married, but my husband is almost 800 miles. Oh, I remember that from last week. 800 miles away for work. So just me and my two dogs. I'm sorry he's so far away. I hope he's back soon. Oh, thank you. So brown skin locks, Valentine's Day is on a Tuesday. Maybe we should have ourselves like a live stream 
drink, chit chat, and crochet. Oh, Marty. I don't like to tell people, many people this, but kind of like Hallmark. I'm not into Hallmark movies too much. The Christmas ones are too bad. I love When Call the Heart. That's one of my favorites. I love The Good Witch. I just watched The Good Witch for the first time two months ago, but I binged all, what, seven seasons? It was nuts. I, like, fell in love with it. All right, guys, we'll hop back into this roundup. And if I'm talking too much, all these patterns are absolutely free and linked down in the description box below. And if you would like to help support this channel while I'm doing these live streams, if you're watching from YouTube right now, you'll see a little dollar sign next to the comments. You can press the super chat button. And when you do that, my bubbles will go off right here and my lights will go off over here and you'll be able to spin the wheel of patterns. I am dual live streaming on Facebook also, but I haven't figured out how to hook up my Facebook bells and whistles for when people donate. So we're going to figure out how to do that eventually. I'm not that technically talented. I'm surprised I can do most of the stuff I can do. All right. So I feel like I'm about to sneeze. Okay, there's no sneeze. Before we hop back into this roundup, once again, I'm going to ask you a question. So let's see. Oh, the question is, what is the one crochet rule that you always break and you don't care about it? Before you do so, I can easily find your uh, comment. Put question marks in front of your comment so I know to bring it to the front because it's so hard to scroll through everything and see who's commenting. So if you're going to comment question marks first. So what is the one crochet rule that you always break? All right, hop back into this roundup. And remember, guys, all these patterns are free. So cute. And link down in the description box below. This is one of my favorites. Where is it? This is the Valentine's Day teddy bear. A teddy bear is the perfect way to show someone you care. I think this would make a swell crochet gift for an adult or for a child. Using felt for the heart and nose is a great time saver. You can even add it to a keychain or hanging loop so it can be made for display. The designer of this cute pattern is Miss Dokapots Crafties. <laughs> Another name I love. I love craft business names. It's always something unique, except for mine. Mine is just my last name. I couldn't think of anything. Any more pictures? Such a cute bear. All right, this next one. Oh, I'm missing a pattern. Guys, don't mind me. I did not. One, two, three. Open the page. This is our third pattern or fourth pattern. This one is called the Valentine's Day Basket. Baskets make a great presentation and can continue to be used by the recipient and store things to display. The classic V-Day v colors on the crochet basket are perfectly festive for the big day. And of course, you can't have a Valentine's without hearts. The designer of this pattern is the Stitchin' Mommy. All right, back to me. But I was talking about how great it is how crafters come up with the best business names. Somebody recently asked me, like, how did you come up with Little John Yarns? That is such a unique, cool name. I'm like, it's my last name. I could not think of a business name if my life depended on it. So I just took my last name, Little John, added yarn. Bam. That's how I got mine. All right. So the question that I asked you, tell me a crochet rule that you always break. All right. I'll go first. The crochet rule that I always break, let's say you come to the very end of the row and you have to turn and you're working double crochets. Instead of chaining three to make that first one count as chain three count as double crochet, I don't like chain three on the ends of my work because it makes my, if I'm making a blanket, it kind of makes it wobbly. Some people just say chain two to get close and put the same double crochet into that same stitch. I don't like that either. Sometimes I do a chain one, then immediately go into a double crochet, or I do my straight edge technique. I should have left a link down in the description, where it's basically where you stack 
two single crochets on top of each other to create the height of a double crochet. And that makes your edges perfectly aligned every single time. So that's a rule I always break. Another rule I break, my foundation chain. On your very foundation chain, let's say you have to chain 100. And when you come back across on that first row, you're supposed to go through two loops. And that gives you a nice, even, perfect, how can I say this? Yeah, a perfect first row, foundation row. Sometimes when I'm doing so many stitches, I find it tedious to try to go through both those stitches on the first chain. So I'll just go through one loop and call it a day. I never care how that first row looks. Nobody looks at the first row. And I can make that first row look better by putting on a border. So I don't even worry about it. I mean, when I do my tutorials, I show you guys as I go through two. But as soon as I turn off the camera, I'm going straight through one loop. That's just me. I get lazy. All right. Let's hop into the uh, comments. So what is a crochet rule that you always break and don't care? Let's see. Let me scroll up. Oh, shame on you, Stephanie. Gage, I absolutely hate taking the time to do it. And when I do, I've lost interest in the project. Gauge is the most, if you're doing like uh, clothing or slippers, gauge is so important. But Stephanie, I 100% understand. Because when you make a gauge, sometimes they're like, please make a four by four inch single crochet square to figure out your gauge. And that can take you a while. You don't even feel like crocheting anything else after that. Even as a quote unquote professional crochet designer, I'll give you a gauge, but if I'm following somebody else's pattern, unless it's closed, I won't follow the gauge either. Cause I know I don't crochet too tight and I can look at their pictures and see if theirs is tight or not and kind of guesstimate what type of stitching they have. If it's not like a complicated pattern, but I skip it too, I do. A rule you always break. Amelia says, start a new project. Hook size to match the yarn. Oh, definitely not. Because sometimes, I guess it goes along with gauge. I guess you would have to take the gauge, but I've done that too. Because some of the yarns, when I use my Care on Simply Saw, to get the hook recommended for that is a five. I don't use it. I always use a four. I have a... Uh, my favorite super bulky yarn, it's not really bulky. It tells me to use like a six. I'm like, and the stitches is too loose. So I dropped down to a five. So yeah, that makes complete sense. Knit and crochet tiger. Tiger. The rule I break, I hardly ever use the recommended hook size on the label of the yarn. I go for what looks and the drape. Yep, same. I think that's like a consensus. I'm going to try would you be able to write your name phonetically? Because I don't know if I'm saying it right. Projecta? Projecta. I hope so. No, not too many people are using the recommended hook size. I don't either. We're seeing gauge, swatching. Mm -hmm. uh, Marilyn says, I never go gauge project again. <laughs> it's everybody's gauge. Okay. Oh, Shatika. Hope I said that right. Single, going to watch romantic dramedies crocheting roses i think that's pretty much the same thing i'm doing notebook that's what i'm going to do let's see gauge gauge i guess everybody are breaking the same rules oh here's something slightly different i'm really following the written pattern perfectly i always have to add my own spin on it it's not breaking a rule i understand completely yeah go for it buddy Oh, do you have a tutorial on the DC straight edge technique? I sure do. And luckily, it's a very popular one. If you just, well, you're on uh, YouTube right now, but if you're on YouTube, just type in crochet straight edges every single time. Let's see if I can find that on YouTube. You guys want to go on a field trip real quick? And by the way, if you find that I'm talking too much, you can find all these free patterns down in the description box below, and you can just go straight there. But now we're just talking and having fun. Uh, crochet straight 
edges. Let's see if mine pops up first. Oh, it did. Look at this. This is mine right there. By doing a double crochet, let's see if we can. Skip, skip, skip. Or I can show you how it's done. It's just, here it is, two single crochets stuck on top of each other. There's the first one, a single crochet. Now watch, I'm gonna go into this loop. The second, well, that first loop right here to create the second single crochet to st stack on top of each other. There we go, come up. And that's it. It's the height of a double crochet. And you'll have straight edges every single time. <laughs> there you go. You need the straight edge technique. Just Google it. Mine will pop up. If not mine, somebody else's. Uh, Marilyn, I also never do borders. I'm I'm so done with the project at that point. You know what? I understand. See, this is why I can't do anything with granny squares. If I make 800 granny squares, I'm like, I'm done at this point. I can't put these together or oh, weaving in ends. I hate doing that. Can't, can't stand it one bit. Let's see. <laughs> Marty, I don't count. I rarely use stitch markers. I use stitch markers just because I hate counting. Hey, we have Hook by Robin here. Hook by Robin is super famous. She has 8 billion YouTube subscribers. Hmm. Fellow gay swatch haters over here. Look, she is a professional crocheter and she hates following gays too. I ain't got time for that. I think anybody does. I know it's great to do, but no time. Oh, here's a different one. I have never, ever blocked. No, I rarely barely almost never block either because i feel like if i'm doing uh granny squares which i'm never going to see them together i feel like th the stitches are right so i can seam them so they don't have to be perfect and i'm no longer selling items anything i crochet is for myself so you know we have an appointment hey what's up crazy poppy lady oh and by the way crazy poppy lady everything worked out for that person who uh stole my YouTube video to sell their products. I talked to them. They were very apologetic and they removed my video from the Facebook ads. I know, niece. Niecy, Robin's here. She's super duper famous. Let me scroll down. All right. Yeah, see, eight billion. She just admitted it. Eight billion subscribers. She has the most subscribers on YouTube right now out of everybody. Just letting you know. All right, so we're gonna hop back into this roundup and I have another question for you before we get there. Let's see. Tell me one thing you don't like about it a little bit. Oh. Do you have any crochet friends? Like crochet friends are so hard to come by. Do you have any crochet friends and how did they become your friends? Cause I just don't wanna hear a, yes I do. Tell me how they're your crochet friends and how you met. Let me know. Before you do, make sure you put question marks in front of it so we can all discuss it. My nose is feeling stuffy again. So let me pull up my script that I have to read. There we go. We did this one. We did that one. And now it's time for this one. Let me turn off these ads. I used to talk about ads, but now since I have my own website i'm okay with ads because those ads that you see all over the blogs that you might get annoyed by those help the crochet designers keep giving you free patterns so there's web so there's ads on their website so they can get paid for giving you free patterns all right so this pattern is called the valentine's day calendar have you ever thought about making an advent calendar for valentine's day this designer filled each day of her calendar with a little kindness activity for her kids to do. I think filling the days with love, notes, and chocolate would be a fun way to count down to Valentine's. The designer of this pattern is Loops and Love Crochet. 
This is so cute. Oh, I got bubbles blown on my arm over here. Somebody donated via Super Chat. Ooh, this bubble thing is cold. Let's see. Oh, it's hooked by Robin. She loves to get, since she has 8 billion subscribers, she can afford to donate to me, this little peon YouTuber of myself. Thank you so much, Robin. My crochet bestie is Alicia from Little John Yarns. How did you meet her? So you didn't tell me. I'm just kidding. Actually, let me turn on. Oh, actually, I should turn on and turn off this over here. How Robin and I met, I guess I'll go first with that. She was in a live a stream as a watcher. I don't know why you would ever want to watch one of my live streams because I think you're super cool. I was always fangirling about you, but I'm like, let me shoot my shot. I'm like, hey, Robin, why don't you come on a live stream with me? I would love to interview you. And I guess I got her at just the right moment that she said yes for some odd reason. I'm sure she regretted it, but I'm glad she came on my channel because I realized you're one of the coolest crocheters I know. I've before meeting Robin, I thought she was, what was the word I always called you? Like prim, proper, paisley, pretty, just, just very, but no, this woman has the filthiest mouth, filthy, dirty, shame on you, but absolutely love her. So I'm going to give you a cheers, Robin. And so, let, let me take my sip. And you get to spin the wheel of patterns. There we go. Where's the patterns? There we go. Let's see. Make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com to receive your pattern, even though you got a billion better patterns on your website. All right, let me hop back into the roundup. And thank you so much again, Robin. Here we go. And the second, next pattern. This is called the Valentine Heart Coaster. Heart-shaped coasters are fun and functional Valentine's Day crochet idea. The solid design and five-inch size of these hearts make them perfect for coasters. I think this gift will be extra special in a set of four or six with all different colors. I would make these for a neighbor or for a teacher. The designer of this pattern is no specific that uh, no specific designer, but through yarn inspirations. Okay. So the question I asked you, do you have any crochet friends? I went with Robin. Of course, she's a crochet friend. You guys know uh, Karen. She's one of my crochet friends, Karen B. Miguel, the one that's always over here on my live streams, but she hasn't been with me in months, but she's going to be here on February 4th. I'm going to have her back for a day, so I'm super excited. Uh, let's see. I have my crochet friend. Like my, I only have one in person crochet friend. Oh, and we got another super chat. Here's the bubbles. Woo. Let's see who super chatted. Paige, thank you so much for donating. I'm going to give you a cheers. And for donating, you get to spin the wheel of patterns. Let's pull that up. I'm not sure if my voice is getting cut out when I go to the Wheel of Patterns or not. Let's see. You get my red slipper pattern. To receive that pattern, make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. If you can't remember that email address, don't worry. It's linked down in the description box below. So I can send you those patterns because unfortunately on Facebook, I can't find you. So you're going to have to reach out to me. Oh, thank you so much. But, oh, I was talking about I only have one in-person crochet friend. Her name is Kelly. She has her own uh, crochet business called Quidesh Creations. She makes the most beautiful items. She's one of the people that I go to for crochet. Um, if I want to buy crochet, I always go to her. Or if people say, Alicia, can you make me something? I'm like, no, you go to my girl, Kelly. She'll make you something amazing. Speaking of crochet, the people who offered to make me the ruffled 
crochet hat that's real popular right now all on like the Facebook pages and Instagram. I did not forget about you. I'm just horrible at emailing. I truly do want one of those ruffled crochet hats. They look they look gaudy, but they look fabulous all at the same time. I don't know if you guys seen it. It's just a basic cap and just full of ruffles. It's beautiful. I just don't feel like taking the time to crochet the ruffles. You know what I mean? I do appreciate the people who do it. Even as a crocheter, buy crochet. I don't care. I love it. All right, let's see. Do you guys have any crochet friends? Do, do, do. Hey, this is one of my faves, Maria. My crochet bestie, unfortunately, lives in New York. And I'm in uh, Northern, oh my goodness, MN, is that Minnesota? Is, I'm trying to remember my state abbreviations. I feel so unsmart right now, but yes, it has to be Minnesota. Thanks. But that's the worst. You know what? My favorite, of course, Kelly is my favorite crochet person in the world, but I wish to heavens that I could get Karen and Robin all in one room so we can just go do fun girl stuff and crochet. But Karen lives in Canada and Robin lives in the UK. Like how I'm gonna hang out with you guys. You, you we're all so far away. Oh, we got another super chat. Erica, thank you so much. I appreciate it. So you get a cheers to you. All these super chats, I was trying to drink my cocoa, but I think you guys are trying to get me tipsy. I'm not sure. So because you donated, you get to spin the Wheel of Patterns. Let's see, let's see, let's see. You get my Wednesday Adams crochet pattern. So you get the Wednesday Adams crochet pattern. Make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. All my links are down in the description box below, so you'll be able to easily find me. <laughs> Let me turn this off. Thank you, Maria. I was so ashamed of myself. I'm like, oh, no, she abbreviated. I got to use my fourth grade brain. Minnesota, yep, my besties in North Carolina kind of stinks. It does. I have some crochet cousins in South Carolina. Well, actually, just one crochet cousin. She's awesome, but she doesn't crochet as much as I do. I wish she did. Let's see. Knit and Crochet Tiger, he says, I don't have any in uh, real life crochet or knit friends. I don't even have any real life friends. Oh, all my friends are online. You know what? I'm not going to say all, because when I think about it, I think me too. My one, I have my crochet friend, that's my real life one. We see each other every once in a blue moon. I should say every once in a purple moon because it's not that often. And I have one girlfriend. So I have like two friends. Oh yeah, I'm bad. It seems like the people online are easy to talk to, or I should say it's easier to find your tribe online. Let's say you only love pink and purple unicorns. You can find your tribe of people who only love pink and purple uni unicorns. I have a lot of online crochet friends. Like I consider uh, like Maria, you're awesome crochet friend. Now that a uh, crazy poppy lady came into the scene and she's like, hey, help you out. Oh, and Jess Handicraft, she's my new friend. Hmm, I would like to get to know a lot more crocheters more. So I can understand how online is where it's at. So I'm not going to say all because I do it too. And I think it's cool. Marty says, yes, my crochet butt bestie lives in Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And I live in Central Illinois. You guys are getting me with these abbreviations. I still got it. Let's see. What am I missing? Uh, knit and crochet tiger. I love to spend the day sitting on a couch watching YouTube videos and a lot of crochet knit tutorials while I knit or crochet and snuggle with my best friend of all, my dog, Jules. She's my baby. <laughs> Let's see what I miss. 
Look, even Robin, Miss 8 billion subscribers, she has zero in-person crochet friends. I'm too antisocial. It's not antisocial. You're just anti-BS. That's what I like to call it. I think when you're just open and friendly to everybody, you can easily allow BS into your life. And I ain't got time for that. I don't have time at all. Hey, beautiful. Hey, hot stuff. How you doing? I'm looking at your uh, little icon. What's that? Divine with, wait, divine, dive in with Diva J. Gorgeous. My girl, Jojo. I'm teaching crochet at work to coworkers lately, and we have fun. You know what? That, that makes me think of my grandma. She was a nurse like yourself. Somebody taught her how to crochet while at work. And 50, 60 years later, I'm a crochet YouTuber because somebody taught my grandma how to crochet at work. 60 years later, here I am. So you don't know how you're benefiting somebody just by doing something fun at work. Rosie's, I'm making a crochet friend. She asked me to teach her and she is my best friend. Oh, you made, literally made your own crochet friend. I guess she was your best friend to begin with, but that's smart. There's nothing better. I wish, well, I do have Kelly. We don't do it as often, but when we went on a yarn date, I think our last yarn date was, ooh, Lord, it was last year. When we went on a yarn date, it was magical to walk into a craft store with somebody who was not looking at their watch saying, just get some yarn and go. We were both sitting in the aisles, just petting stuff, squeezing stuff, placing it against our face. I'm like, I love you. We should get married. You're my bestest friend in the world. Hmm. And guys, remember, if you would like to see any of these patterns, they're all free. Link down in the description box below. Welcome. Oh, Sea Turtle Poppy just came in. So glad I finally caught you live. I'm glad you make it. Today, we're talking about crochet, quick crochet Valentine's Day items. And we're talking, what was the question that I asked? Oh, do you have any crochet friends? But welcome. Okay. And I'll do one more before we hop back into this roundup. Zara says, I keep trying to convert friends into crocheters, but thus far hasn't, hasn't been successful. I I'm sorry. It is hard. People think crochet is so hard. If you can get past like the first couple stitches, like single crochet, double half the crochet, single half and double crochet, you open up, the world is your oyster, the world has no limit, the world is the limit, I don't know. But you can basically make anything, but it's hard to get them that far without quitting. In person, I have only successfully taught one person to crochet in person. I was at work, I was work, um, two of my coworkers, it was a man and a woman. The woman, she could not get it if her life depended on it. The man, he picked it up in no time. He had his first son. He crocheted his son a blanket. I'm like, okay, for you. All right, so we're going to hop back into this roundup. So let's see. I have to ask you a question first. Where are we at? Oh, are we on like the last couple? two nope we still have a few more let me get back oh and by the way if you have any like crochet items you would like to show off during this live stream i left my email and i'm actually going to type it in the uh, comments right now email me what you're working on i've been doing this for the past couple weeks and it's been pretty fun little john's yarn at gmail i can't spell gmail.com Email me your work and so I can see what you're working on. So the question I want to ask you is, what are you most proud of that you've made in crochet or anything about crochet? It doesn't have to be specifically a crochet item or maybe it's just an accomplishment in the crochet field. But before you comment, make sure you put question marks in front of it so I know to bring to the front so we can share it with each other. So, okay, I'm ready to hop back into this round. And remember, guys, 
you can send me whatever you're working on via email at this moment. We did that one and scroll. And if you would like to help support this channel via Super Chat, there's a little dollar sign in the comment section. If you click that, the bubbles will go off, the lights will blow, and you'll get to spin the Wheel of Patterns. So this is our number seven pattern. This is called Heart Eyes Emoji Valentines. Double your love with your heart eye emojis. That's also shaped like a heart. You could use this happy little heart to embellish a handmade greeting card or make a few and string them together for Valentine's Day garland. This design also has five other hearts shaped in emoji patterns for you to enjoy. The designer of this is Golden Lucy Crafts. See, this is my type of, uh, I can never say the word correctly, applique, applique. Am I saying it right? Applique? <laughs> this is one of my favorite type of things. It's quick and easy. What is this? Two rows? How big is this? Is there a gauge? Do you think they put a gauge in this pattern? So I can guesstimate how big it is. Because I'm guessing this would be big if this is so small. Or maybe this is like a finger and weight yarn. Yes, a finger and weight yarn with a worsted weight yarn. Because I only count one, two, three but that's double crochet. Okay, I'm being so nosy. I have to see exactly how big this is. Okay, they're using double crochet. Q. So it's about uh, three and a half, three and a quarter inches big, eight centimeters. The next pattern that we're looking at. Oh, these are so cute. They're so cute. I want to eat them. This is called the Valentine's Day Candies. Crochet candies are a great no calorie and sugar-free treat for Valentine's Day. You can use this great free pattern to make candy keychains or embellish a plain crochet hat or scarf to be extra sweet and fitting for Valentine's Day. The designer of this pattern is the Cookie Snob. Of course, this is great no calorie non-snack, but it's adorable. <laughs> and quick to make. Is it double-sided? How is that? How's a little poofy inside? Yes, it's double-sided. Mate, that's cotton yarn. Ooh, look at that. It's not double. Is she crocheting on top of it? Okay, she crocheted them together. It is double-sided. It threw me for a loop for just a hot second. All right. So the question that I'd asked you, what are you most proud of? in crochet or what you've done with crochet. And remember, before you put your answer in, make sure you put question marks in front of it so I know to bring your uh, comment to the front. I'll go first. What I'm most proud of with crochet is actually, I, there's not a single crochet item that I've made that says, oh my gosh, I'm just so proud of this one crochet item. Cause I don't think I'm that skilled of a, cro I love to crochet, but I don't think I'm like a, artists with crochet. I just like putting stitches together and doing simple patterns, but I am most proud. I've been able to turn my love of crochet into my career. That's what I'm most proud of. I'm so thankful for the person who taught my grandma crochet 60 years ago, that now I can do this full time and just bull crap with people online like you and huh, so awesome. All right, so what are you most proud of? Let me start up here. Doot, doot, doot. Michelle says, my Marilyn Monroe Graphigan is my prized possession. Ooh, do you have, can, are you able to take a picture of that and email it to me? We would love to see it. Oh, yeah. If you have any prize possessions, please email because after this next, the last two uh, crochet patterns we're going to look at, I'm going to hop into my email and look at all the pictures that you guys want to show off. Show me what you're working. Your work's in progress. Just Jackie, like the name. I got into Barefoot Sandals last year. They were a big hit with people. I know I'll try to send you an email. Thank you. Thank you. Knit and crochet tiger. I am proudest of design designing sweaters for my doll. It was not too hard to figure out, but when it's cold, it holds up and she'll jump into the sweater like a lion through a hoop. She's so cute. Oh, scroll. 
Here we go. Rosie, I knit, but I'm making a scarf and it's so cute and pretty. It's orange and pink with twist. I am Rosie. I am envious of anybody that knows how to put colors together and make things beautiful. So cheers to you. What's up, Martha? Learning not to be intimidated by patterns that I haven't tried. Don't be intimidated. You got this. I always say there's no such thing as a beginner crocheter. Once you know your basic five stitches, chain, slip, single, half, and double crochet, you can basically crochet anything. All you need is a good pattern to follow. Don't be intimidated. You'll be able to do it. Okay. She's helping me uh, pronounce applique. It's pronounced applique. Applique. Thank you. I could never. I think you guys help me phonetically pronounce words every single week because I just butcher them. I think last week I was butchering somebody's name. I kept calling them Defane, Defane. And I went back to watch my video. I'm like, her name is Daphne. Why couldn't I pronounce Daphne? Reading has always been like, ah. Another one, applique. I want to get, I'm going to get there. You guys help me with my crochet language. The crazy poppy lady. Having my monster-in-law steal my favorite cardigan and my largest jumper. Ooh, straight off the hook. I wish she lived closer so I could offload more to her. So it's not steal. You're giving stuff. That's cool. Mm. You can offload stuff to me. <laughs> Leon. Uh, Leanne says, I'm proud that I can modify crochet garments to my row gauge. Go ahead. My row gauge is always off. And with a little bit of math, I can now conquer any pattern length difference. Leanne, that is something I was, a lot of crocheters cannot do that. To be, because I've had some like, oh, how do you make this for an this size? I'm like, it's with a little bit of crochet math since each size is increased by four stitches and, and it just throws them completely because crochet is all math. So cheers to you for knowing that one. Re-eclectic goods, successful completing an antique pattern. Oh, what was, no guys, you always talk about, I don't care for star stitch. It's not that I don't like the look of the star stitch. Star stitch is pretty. It can just get a little tedious for me and it makes me mad. She made a crochet. What what was it a shawl? What it what was it from 1800s, 1860, 1870? She followed a pattern from a hundred and something years ago and it looks like somebody created the pattern yesterday. These crochet patterns aren't old school. A knot is a knot and it's still beautiful. It's all about the yarn. Alexandra, I made a birthday calendar blanket for my grandmother. It has all of her children's children and grandchildren and great grandchildren's birthday in the blanket. I update it every year as the family grows. That's beautiful. Cheers to you. See, I always think that's why I believe people have trouble pricing their crochet because crochet is a craft of love because we love to give. You're like, oh, you got more grandbabies? Give me that blanket back. I, I need to stitch some extra birthdays in it and you give it back. It's like a gift of love. And I find nothing wrong with that. I love, I don't sell any finished products. Everything I make now, I give away. If there's a pattern that you see that I made on YouTube, that's giving to somebody away immediately. Zara, I'm proud of myself for getting over my fear of amigurumi last year. I've gotten quite good at it. Cheers to you. And by the way, about two years ago, amigurumi was one of the words I couldn't pronounce. And during the live streams, everybody helped me fix that word. So I'm getting better with applique, amigurumi. There's some other. Pico stitch, I couldn't pronounce. Because <laughs> all of these crochet words, when you don't have any crochet friends, you're never saying these words out loud. So I'm just reading them, knowing what they are and how to physically do it, but never saying these words out loud. And being on a live stream, I find myself like, oh, how do I say this word? Let me scroll. I'm going to skip down to the bottom. Let's see. Oh, Zara, 
I, I, I must point out, you're pronouncing my name perfectly. That makes me so happy because I be I butcher, butcher, butcher names. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought your name was the same as mine. You're missing. You're not missing. You weren't given the L in your name. But is your name pronounced Aisha? Because mine, Alicia. So Aisha, is how do you pronounce your name? That is nifty. Okay, back here. Um, guys, if you're just hopping into this live stream and you're wondering where the patterns are, all these patterns are free and linked down in the description box below. And also, if you'd like to support this channel, you can also help support by donating through Super Chat. When you do, bubbles will go off. Well, this side, lights will go off and you'll spin the wheel of patterns. Danetta, the piece I'm most proud of is your oversized shrug and its accessories. Thank you so much. Oh, welcome. Do I have an oversized shrug? I don't remember that one. It's, I've done so many patterns throughout the years. When I first started on YouTube, I was doing like two, I don't know how many patterns a month, maybe two patterns a week, so many patterns a month. And this past year, I've probably put out like three patterns in a year. It's just basically me, bullcrapping, talking. I love just talking about crochet. I don't know. Well, here's... Sad one. Michelle, I'm proud of myself for getting over the loss of my daughter, my mom, my sister, and my dad last year, plus losing 40 pounds while working. I am completely sorry for your loss. And I know you haven't completely got over it, but that is a lot of loss in one year. Listen, Michelle, you're you're gonna be you're gonna need an extra prayer for tonight for having the strength to make it through 2022. My goodness. All right, did I miss anybody? All right, so we're gonna hop back into this roundup and we're gonna look at the last two patterns. If you have anything you wanna show off right now, email me at littlejohnyards at gmail.com. So we're all gonna look at your patterns. Let's show off. Let me pull up my script. You guys have no clue. I really hate reading in public, but I guess it's what I do for a living now. That we do we did the candies let me scroll down so you can see this a little better all right this is called the valentine's wine bottle cover right up my alley delight the wine lover in your life with a stunning red wine bottle cover with hearts don't forget the bottle of wine of course or sparkling cider this is such a fun way to dress up a super easy valentine's and make it extra special the designer of this pattern is crochet 360 knit two this is super cute. You know what? It wouldn't work for me because I'm, what's the word? Tacky. That's me. That's the word tacky is a very Western Pennsylvania slang word, but I'm very tacky. I drink my wine from a box. I'm a box wine drinker. I get more bang for my buck. I feel like when I touch the wine bottle, I pour two glasses. It's halfway empty. I'm like, hmm. But when I touch my box, I hit the tap and it feels like the tap never ends. All right, the very last pattern of our roundup. Let me give you a close picture of it. This is called the Valentine's Crochet Notebook Sweater. There's nothing quite as sweet that a new notebook smell for the winter. Ugh, I can't read this. There's nothing quite as sweet as that new notebook smell for the winter. Doodlers and designers in your life. A crochet cover is a great, great way to personalize your gift and also keep it safe too. It will stay in good condition and last a long time. The designer of this pattern is Claire Bell Makes. That is cute. I never thought to make a, a notebook cover. Oh, and we got a super chat. Oh, I feel the bubbles hitting me. It's hooked by Robin again. Her 8 billion subscribers got her the income to help donate via Super Chat. Thank you. You need to design a box wine cover. New video there, right there. Guys, right now, give me a thumbs up if any of you are as tacky as I am and drink box wine. This is going to be me seeing how many other, other drunks out there need a crochet box wine cover because I'll do it. I'll definitely do it because I would love to keep my wine nice and cozy. 
<laughs> since you donate again, you're going to get to spend the Wheel of Patterns. Here you go, Robin. You definitely get me tipsy by donating. Okay. So make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. And I'm going to put you on the spot. Robin, can I have you on my channel one day again? I miss, miss your face. We never got to do our Christmas work party. We missed out. Karen and I, we had to do it all by ourselves without you. I need a belated work party with you, or I guess belated New Year's. Maybe, oh, for what's St. Patrick's Day? Come on my channel in March. I miss your face. I miss you. All right. So we're going to be finished all of our patterns. Now I'm going to hop into the email and see what some of you guys make. If you don't want to send anything to my email, tell me in the comments. What are you making right now? I want to see. I want to know what is your whip. <gasps> You'll do it. Thank you. I miss you. You're fun. And it is so odd. I don't know if you guys know this. Having a live stream, technically, yes, I'm talking to you in the chat right now. I see you on the side of my screen. It's weird talking to a camera. It's nice having somebody to banter off of. <laughs> Christmas in July. That means you're coming back two times. Thank you. Good idea. Aha. Got you. All right, so now we're going to hop into my inbox. Let me make sure there's nothing weird like a porn advertisement in my inbox. Not that I look at, I got weird. That just got real weird real quick. But you know how you get weird emails in your inbox. I have to make sure none of that was in there. Okay, so the first up is Marilyn. She says, my son goes fishing with his girlfriend, girlfriend's grandma, so I'm making them both gnomes. Oh, I love that. I like little fish on the hook. That's genius. Beautiful work. And by the way, if you guys notice, I am very redundant with my adjectives. It's because things are beautiful. I love them. And my favorite words are amazing, gorgeous, beautiful, and super. I use those four over and over again. So there we go. Christy. Ooh, see, oh, there it is. This is what I was talking about. Th this is gorgeous. <sighs> it's like an old pattern made new. It's all about the yarn. There it is. There it is. R R I'm, I'm trying not to say your uh, business name like I usually do. Re-eclectic goods. This is the pattern from the 1800s, 1860 or something like that. 1870. Gorgeous. Oh, actually, Leanne, I'm coming right back to that. Somebody donated via Super Chat, and I don't want to miss them. Who did that? Thank you so much. Uh, I just want to pronounce your name correctly. Aisha, because I'm Alicia. If I take off the L, Aisha. Uh, Aisha, I'm just butchering your name, but thank you so much for donating via Super Chat. So cheers to you. I'll take my drink. And we're going to spin the Wheel of Patterns for you. Let's see what she gets. Finally, somebody gets the Wednesday Adams crochet collar. I've loved this one. So to get the crochet collar, make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Thank you so much. And you too, write your name phonetically out there so I'm not butchering it. I'm sorry. But since your name is so familiar, you instantly become my fave just because your name is just so similar to mine. And it'll always just, I'll see it. All right. So back to my Leanne. Okay. The project I'm probably the most proud of, the Chloe, Cardigan, the Chloe Cardigan by Off the Hook. It was a struggle to get this fitting, especially the puff sleeves, because the pattern was way too tight under around the armpits, but absolutely love the way it fits me. 
Oh my goodness, is that you? Is that you? You are a cutie. Let me zoom in on this. Oh, I love that. That looks store-bought, store-bought. That is gorgeous. Cause sometimes when you're looking at crochet, you're like, it's too crochet, if that makes sense. But, oh, this is gorgeous. Like, once again, sorry about the lack of adjectives, but girl, it is, it is. So are you, you're a baby. Oh, Virgie, another fave. Mosaic uh, bucket bag, mosaic bucket bag by Yarn and Chi. Hope I hope I said that right. Hardware and yarn from Hobby Lobby. Yes, yes, gorgeous. Look at the oh, I love the way you twist it to make the drawstrings. See, you guys know how to match colors. I can't match colors for nothing. Ooh, beautiful work and excellent job. Excellent. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, stop. Did you crochet this? That, what, the, what are these straps? What is this strap technique that's going on right here? I'm not, that's not crochet. What is this? Yes, it is. Those are slip stitches. Are those slip stitches? Comment right now if that's slip stitches. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on, but this is gorgeous. And you can tell it has no stretch to it. That is my least favorite thing is about when I make bags or purses. The straps are too stretchy, but I can tell that's not stretchy. That's a perfect strap. Good job, Virgie. Okay, Georgetta. Was this some knit work? I love knitters. Is that, uh, what is the kids show? Georgetta, you're going to have to tell me what the kids show is. But I, I know what it is, but I can't figure out the name. Oh, that's a huge amigurumi. Beautiful. See, I know my hands would start hurting after a while. Love it. Oh, I just want to snuggle it. Oh, wait. And is the nose made with like a velvety yarn? It looks like the nose is like would be extra soft. All right. Actually, let me hop into the comments, see if I mixed anything. So I want to know if that was, wait, nope, it's Tunisian. Thank you, Virgie. I use a Tunisian type of technique I learned from a Turkish crocheter on YouTube. Okay, just in case you didn't know, Virgie was the one that made that, uh, the bag, the bucket bag with the strap. That strap, that technique, that's the type you put in your pocket and use it on every other purse project you ever want to make. Beautiful. That's what it is. Teletubbies, the knit sweater. It was Teletubbies. I couldn't figure out what it was. All right, let's hop back into my email. Alexandra, my grandparents' favorite colors are green and blue. So each month is a different vibrant or blue or green. The gold rose are the birthdays of my grandparents. Light and dark green are the children and grandchildren and great, great grandchildren's birthday. Thank you for sharing. Oh, so this is the family. Okay, okay. I would have never thought of that. That's genius. Beautiful. Here we go. And I love how it's done from boop, 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 corner to corner. You're the best. <laughs> oh, my girl Maria. Here's the back. That means there's probably another one coming. Oh, I can't wait to see the front. I can already tell it's Sonic. Okay, Maria, what what's going on right there? I didn't think you was the tatted up type of woman. I, I want to know what the rest of. See, I'm supposed to look at uh what you made, which is absolutely gorgeous. But being the human in me, I'm like, what's your tattoo? Tell me, what's your tattoo? <laughs> Hope I get to see the front of it. No, here it is. Here's Sonic. Just finished this guy. He looked, he took me a lot longer than I anticipated, but I'm so proud of him and I hope you like it. It looks exactly like Sonic the Hedgehog. There's no, sometimes people crochet him like, oh, it kind of looks like him. Exactly. On point. Who, who's this guy for? Is this for your own collection or is this a gift for somebody? And I love 
I'm always nosy. I love your bag of stuffing in a corner. Jackie, I got into these last year. I've always struggled with using crochet thread. So there were they were an accomplishment. Oh, your little uh, crochet sandal, barefoot sandals. I couldn't think of the word. Those are cute. Let me turn. Okay, in different colors. Super cute. He has a tiny foot. Let me hop over because I'm hoping Maria tells me what her tattoo says. Let's see if I can find her. Maria, what is your tattoo about? Am I finding her? I'm scrolling. Oh, she, I just want to know what your tattoo is. Mm. All right, so we're going to hop back into my email and see what you guys are working, working on. All right, and if you're just showing up to the live stream and you would like to have your items featured on my show right now, what are you working on? Email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. My email address is in the description box. We're probably going to do maybe a couple more. Let's see. Let's see if my email was packed. Let's go in here. That's not too bad. We'll get those newer ones. Who have I missed? We got you, you, you. Ooh, we got some more to go. Paige. <gasps> a mosaic one. Paige, you don't know. This is my weakness. When I see these, and what yarn is that? That's like a roving, shinier, a uh, mercerized. This is beautiful yarn. And these are beautiful stitches. I just want to cry and slowly rub my face against this blanket. Jeez. I can say this things because you guys are crocheters also. This is something I just want to touch real slowly. I hope you're not giving this to anybody. This is your treasure that you're keeping for yourself. It's gorgeous. Danetta, let's see. This is going to be a little lot. Oh, <laughs> this is so cute. It looks like a lion. I'm not exactly sure what it is because it looks like a lion to me. Oh. Is, uh, is that made on a knitting machine? Guys, you know I love the knitting machine because I can't knit. Beautiful work. And that's the little boop, boop, drawstring hat. Beautiful work. Thank you so much, Danetta, for sharing. Who else do we got? Oh, baby stuff. Laura. Hey, Alicia. I finished this cardigan and hat this week for a co-worker who's having a little girl soon. We'll be giving it to her on Monday. I hope she likes it. How are they not going to like this? Seriously, how are they not, 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 how are they not going to love this? That's a better word. No, I need to make some baby hats because baby hats like that quick. Now this, this, this is the showstopper right here perfect oh i miss i don't want to say i miss babies i gotta knock on wood but baby i miss looking at somebody else's baby that's what i truly miss see Berkey coming in here once again with that gorgeousness you're fired fired God. Cheers to you. And Bergy is my new friend. She was there to help support me and talk to me in some good times via email. So once again, I appreciate you, Bergy. You're the best. And you keep being strong too, and I'll be strong too. We can be strong together. This is gorgeous. Oh, okay. I can't stay on that one forever, but I can look at mosaic crochet for hours on end. Not do it, but look at it. Alma says, actually a deep till, camera not picking it up. I just learned how to make these flowers and cross stitch double crochets. Making up, making up this as I go along. Ooh, <gasps> what are you gonna make out of it? Is this gonna be a scarf? Since it's so, it's like the beginning right now. I see a scarf. I also see a, a hat. What do they call it? Where you take the hat and you can like cinch it close. Uh, messy bun hat. I see a cute, I can never say it, cow, cow, l cow. Somebody tried to teach me how to say it last week, but I'm not going to try it this week. This can be anything. Use, oh, love it. Next. Christy again. Are, are you, are you showing off? Older candy box, key to my heart. Once again, her name is 
re-eclectic goods is because she takes something old, makes it new and gorgeous. She reclaims items and just does gorgeous work. She showed me this carousel horse that she did. It had all my favorite colors. I love purple. Purple's one of my favorite. Actually, yellow and purple. Yellow's my favorite to wear. Purple's my favorite, but I'll never wear it because I think I look weird in purple. So all of my stuff is yellow. Love it. You're such a talent. Ooh, -hoo, Alexandra. Starting with a pattern for the head and ears, but started freestyling soon after. Thank you for sharing. Oh, it's a Valentine's Day pattern. I love it. Oh, and by the way, if there's any crochet designers out there, email me and maybe I can share some of your work on my Facebook page, maybe help you get some views or some sales or something. I'm, I'm not going to be like, hey, buy everything, but I'll be happy to share your work on my Facebook page if you're a pattern designer or something like that. Okay. Oh, okay. We're back to who won patterns. Let me go up to the front. All right, these will be the last ones, and then we have to wrap up the live stream because we've been talking for over an hour. Wow. Isabella, let me make sure. Yep, I'm still sharing the screen. I'll be so embarrassed if I wasn't sharing the screen. Uh, she made these, trying to sell on Etsy. I love these plushies so much. Yeah, my daughter, Ashley, wait, wait. <clears throat> I've seen a mate like this. I love the choice of yarn. How hard was it to crochet with this yarn? Man, that's gorgeous. Love it. Willow crochet. It took me almost 27 hours of crocheting to make this blanket. It's a graph gan. It's a graph gan of, oh my. Yes, it took you that long. It's beautiful. Did you only send one picture? Okay, there's two pictures. And by the way, I'm always noticing how people take pictures. This is a great picture angle. I like the flowers in the background and draped over the chair, but amazing work. This is beautiful. Good job. There's, this is what I'm talking about. Hi, Leash, uh, Little John's my new love, the crochet ruffle hat. This is what I'm talking about. And I didn't forget the people who offered to crochet it for me. I put a star next to your email last week. I'll get back to you. But this is what I want, but I don't want to crochet it. But I want this hat. It's so, I don't, what's the word? It's, it's a lot. That's why I like it. It looks a lot. And sometimes I want to look like a lot. I want one, but I don't want to make it. Oh, did we make it through everybody's? No, we didn't. Marilyn made this made this set using your mitten pattern. Oh, thank you. Let's see. Oh, it's the roving yarn. Love it. Just that nice sheen. There's something about this yarn. I just want the scarf and I want to rub it against my face. I want to put my slip my hands into these mittens and feel the heaven. I want to slide this hat over top of my head and feel it caress my ears. I'm weird like that. This beautiful. <laughs> Erica. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I have not seen too many like cardigans made in such thick yarn. This is my style. I love it. Yes, this is gorgeous. What yarn is this? No, next time I'm going to have you guys like leave what type of yarn you're using. Beautiful. All right. Did I get everybody? Nope, nope, nope. There's more. Crazy poppy lady. What are you making? Oh, is that a... Oh, I can't. I'm trying to click on each picture to get closer, but I just need to get closer like this. Beautiful. And it just hangs on a shelf. Wait. You need a wine box cover in your room? Yes, my wine box needs legs. That'll be genius. <laughs> mm, oh, 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 is that, is that a tap? Is that a tap for a wine box? 
with the legs. Yes, I'm in love. Making a lightweight scarf for my friend in Japan. That's a, that's a shipment right there. Uh, we at the very beginning. When you're at the beginning, it's like, huh, I know in a matter of hours or days, this is going to be the most magnificent item ever. We just have to get there. The beginning was each journey begins with the first step or the first stitch. All right, we've made it back to the beginning. All right, I know there's probably more coming to my email right now, but we have been going on this live stream for a total of an hour and 15 minutes, and it's about time for me to wrap it up. So, guys, <laughs> Santa's getting cheeky. Sure was. So, guys, I am going to wrap this up. Thank you so much for joining me again on this live stream. We're going to do it all again next week, same time, same place. And thank you, guys. I'll talk to you all next time. See ya.